Hey guys, just got home from an interview. Interviewed for Macy's, uh, specifically stock position, which would just be to restock their merchandise and everything. But they filled that position. So they interviewed me on the spot for sales position. It was actually for what they call SSA, which stands for Sales or Star Sales Ambassador. And that's basically just the person that you see if you go to Macy's and you see someone walking around and like helping all the customers and helping with the actual sales at a computer. Basically like a sales management position. I had no intention, no idea of being interviewed for this. I don't really a salesperson, I'm an IT guy, but hey, if it's for Macy's or something, you know, I, I like Macy's, why not? So. Uh, they're forwarding my information off to the managers at the store, and we'll see. This is the one that's in Lynchburg, Virginia, and so I know I didn't vlog yesterday, but I went to the Regal Entertainment Theater that's also here. I didn't even have to do an interview for it. It was like a very low-key discussion with the general manager at that theater, and because I've worked there before, I'd be a rehire. So I started orientation with that on Monday. So I've got like two more jobs, um, and, or at least one coming my way for sure, but possibly working three jobs at one time. One is full-time, the other two are part-time. Um, but I'm really, you know, going to be needing to bring up my income and everything, and so I'm hoping this could be it. You know, get discounts on uh, clothes and do free movies and stuff, and so I, I, I'm not complaining. Um, I, have, I actually have one friend who has been working four jobs for the last several months, and so um, I'm like, heck, if you can do it, why can't I do three? All the while, I'm still going to the gym and everything, so we'll see how that goes. I definitely don't want to give up my gym stuff, I mean, because it keeps me energized, more able-bodied. It's also a bit of a stress reliever, you know, if you're feeling stressed out or whatever. And I mentioned this in an earlier vlog, that uh, if you ever feel like you need to relieve any um, stress or um, negativity or anything, go and hit some iron. One of my favorite um, workout coaches or instructors, a lot of people know who he is, um, C.T. Fletcher, says that his therapist is at the end of barbell. If you don't know anything about that, that's, you know, the people that are helping in case you're benching or squatting. It's called a spotter. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be doing lunch. I'm super hungry. I didn't really eat a big breakfast this morning at all. I was just kind of a little bit stressed out with um, some credit card stuff. And so getting that solved out within the next week or so. I'm gonna get some more things done and probably um, just edit this vlog and some other vlogs just for fun, um, like earlier ones before I deleted them off my channel and everything. So I'm um, gonna make them better for you guys. Got a lot in here again, and uh, I just wanted to provide an update. It's um, just got off the phone with Macy's, and they had their leadership meeting today. And uh, basically, what happened is they had filled the two positions they already had, the two openings they had for Star Sales Ambassador. And so, um, what they wanted to offer me was Global Sales Associate, which means um, it's like one step down, basically doing the same stuff except that more um, actual sales instead of walking around the store and um, helping customers and uh, the other sales associates. It's uh, extra income and everything. As you can see, I have to clean up a pretty good portion of the house because I'm going to be um, taking pictures of the house so that I can advertise the place to students or you know young professionals looking for a place to stay around Lynchburg um, who want to be roommates um, just to kind of cut costs and stuff on rent and utilities and everything and um, possibly make some new friends. So I catch you guys later. <laughs> About nine o'clock here in Lynchburg to get my protein shake here because I was starving even though. I had a full meal like maybe about an hour ago. Megan and I played uh, the Read My Lips Challenge or otherwise known as the Whisper Challenge and it's basically where you are supposed to uh, put earphones or headphones on, blare the music, a friend or whoever is supposed to say something and you have to guess what they're saying. You can't hear them obviously because you have your ears are covered and it's a hilarious game and uh, we just kind of played it for fun, uh, played a couple rounds of it. Uh, and we might post a video of us doing that game. It, it's hilarious. I mean, it's it's been done by other people before, but um, we can definitely see where the struggle is. It's hilarious. Didn't really get as much done today as I wanted to. It was a super chill day. Start training for that uh, on next Wednesday and the Sunday after that. And then on Monday, I start training for my other job, the Regal. Um, so I'm going to have three jobs here. And if any of you know about uh, doing multiple jobs and stuff, having multiple streams of income, then it's, it's a blessing. It can be tiring, but I think it's worth it. And I've done it before. It's just been a few 
few years since I've done that. I'm looking forward to that. You gotta pick jobs that, that are either a no-brainer or that you have a lot of fun with or a little bit of both. Being that I studied information technology in, in college, that is my main job right now, being uh, the web guy at my workplace. And then I also worked at the Regal Theater. I've worked in two theaters in my life, and uh, the better one that's in Lynchburg right now is the Regal Entertainment Cinema. I start working there again on Monday uh, with the orientation and stuff, and I know a few of the people still that, that I've worked there since I was there before that. Um, it, it, I mean, it's not a very old theater anyway, maybe like five years old, and they implement a lot of Disney culture into it. I mean, I, when I went in for, to speak with the general manager, they had been given something by, I think it was the district manager. It had like all kinds of different information, I'm not really sure, but uh, it had like the Walt Disney um, like animation studio or something like that. Apparently they got it from there. So I was like, oh my goodness, you know, the, and, uh, the general manager said that like that room uh, is where the magic happens. I was like, uh huh, because I, I used to work there, and uh, she, you know, that, that was a huge plus for her. But I mean, they they do all kinds of other things that are like Disney esque, such as you know the the two two plus fingers point. They have random little things in the walls of their offices that you know, are Disney inspired. And all kinds of other little things. And so it's definitely a, a great thing to you know to come back from you know, the Disney background and everything and go into something that you know, the Disney magic is into. And that, it's not just that. Mace is also different. They have a, a, a code that the analogy is magic, and that's how they operate and everything. I know recently Mace has been unsuccessful with some of their things, but. Surprisingly, our Macy's store is still here. I guess we're, you know, it's doing pretty good. I, I, when I went in, there were a lot of people shopping in there, and they have a lot of fun in the store. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful store. It's probably the biggest store in our mall right now. I'm looking forward to it. So, if you guys have any advice for someone who's working more than one job, also works out, is in a relationship, yeah. balancing that, I, I've done a lot of research when it comes to that. Even like way before I actually got involved in doing all this stuff. You make the time. You create the time. It's not just oh, it happens to be you know that I have time. You have to purposefully make the time. I think I'm ready for it. I'm definitely ready to be making um, a better income and everything. So yeah, that's where we're at, and I'll be catching you guys tomorrow or uh, two days from now. I always get that wrong. Good night.